Hello, this is a tutorial on how to have two different versions of Fallout 4 on your computer at the same time. So let's say you have a 1.1 version because apparently for most people it is the most stable version and you also have a 1.4 version which is required to play the DLCs. And you want to have both fo folders um, on your computer so you don't have to downgrade and uh, update like every time. So for that it's very simple. You make a copy of your Fallout 4 folder and uh, once you have two times Fallout 4, I have Fallout 4 with a space between the T and the 4 and one without space between the T and the 4. Uh, once you have a copy of uh, Fallout 4 you can down patch whatever which one you want. Uh, I have a version that is in all caps. This is my 1.1 version. And the file that is uh, not in full caps is my 1.4 version. I have this one in full caps so that I can easily differentiate uh, both versions. So um, whenever you want to switch a version, you just have to rename the folders. Uh, Steam will automatically use the files that are in the Fallout Space 4 folder. So this one here. So if I now start Fallout 4 I will be on the 1.4 version go to settings 1.4 now if I wanna for example play on the 1.1 because I want to speedrun the game just in, as an example I just rename this Fallout Space 4 into Fallout 5 and the Fallout 4 without space, I just add space so that the name is Fallout Space 4. And I hit play. And now I am on 1.1. If I want to go back to 1.4. I just rename Fallout Space 4 into Fallout 4 and rename Fallout 5 into Fallout 4. You can use any names you want, I just like to do it this way. Just make sure that the version you want to use has its folder name Fallout 4, Fallout Space 4, and that the other one has another name because you can't have two folders with the same name. And back on 1.4. If you want, you can uh, make another copy of your 1.1 to, to somewhere else on your computer just to keep a backup of your 1.1 files. Because when there will be a new update, for example 1.5, we will have to make a new... Well, Daylit is going to make a new down patcher and that can take a day or two. And then you can just copy or if, if the game updates, you can just put your 1.1 version back inside of here and then use steam in offline mode so that the game will not update so that was a very short tutorial um, but yeah that's how you basically keep two versions of the game and switch between them very easily thank you for watching and i hope this helped you out